Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today my topic for this particular video is the class. So we know the Python is the object oriented language. Like we can consider everything is in the Python is the object. As in the previous video, we discussed the list, tuples, dictionaries, or simple integers. Those all are the objects, like the object created into the memory. Then we uh, call those objects by using the object references while we creating the variables, while we creating the identifiers. So, so we know the Python is focused on the object and object basically the collection of variables, methods, and class is like the object constructor, or you can say the user defined blueprint to create an object. Let me explain with the help of example. So let me consider the blueprint of cars, like the blueprint of car is include the body of the cars, engine of the cars, design of the cars, tire, color, everything. With the help of blueprint, we can create a cars and we can create multiple cars with the help of same blueprint, right? We just need to change the attribute value, like the change the colors values, or in case of design required, the changes, change the design, change the body structures, change the engine engine configuration so this way we can create the multiple cars by using the same blueprint similar way into the python we can use the class as a blueprint and we can create the multiple objects into the memory by changing the attributes by passing the different variables by passing the different attribute names so an object is called the instance and instance have the attributes to maintain its states and the in case of instance we have the functions methods to modify their states also the process of uh, creating the object is the initialization so while calling a class we initialize the objects and we create a object into the memory while calling the class so here are the nice uh, nice picture of the class uh, but i will explain this picture little little first start with the very basic class so this is the very basic example of the empty class. Here I'm creating a class with the help of class keyword. So this is the prerequisite to create a class. Like the, we need to define the class keywords, then the name of the class. And here I'm using the empty class. And here are the like the first letter is the capital. You can see here empty is capital, then class C is capital. So I'm following the PEP8 naming convention here. And then colon. And after the colon, I can pass the course here. But here I'm just creating the empty class. That's why I'm passing the pass statement. So if I execute this class, nothing happened. Let me show you. So you can see here, like the nothing happened while I executing this class. And let me call this class here. You can see here, here I'm uh, calling this class empty class. And this is the object names, like the where I'm um, calling the object reference for this class. And while I call this class, this object is created into the memory. And you can check the type of this object. You can see here, this object reference type is the class. This is the empty class name is class name. And this is the type. Type is the class. And main is the default module into the Python module dot class name. This is the class name. You can see here, if I print this one. So once I call this empty class, so basically let me take the example. So here, you can see here, let me uh, assume this is the memory space in our uh, our systems, our server. So this is the memory space. Once I call this class, basically the class object is created into the memory. Suppose this is the memory and this is the object empty class. So this is the empty class. And once I call this class, this empty object is created into the memory. And you can see here, this is the example how the empty object is created once uh, we call the class. So in the second example, I'm using the init methods to create a class. And this is the class keyword. You can see here in the previous example also, we use the class same, same syntax, class keyword, then the name of the class. Here I'm using the car is the class name and then colon. Here I'm defining two variables. First is the public variable, then is the private variable. Let me back to our image here. So as shown here, you can see here, first one is the car is the class name as highlighted here also. And second thing is the first variable country underscore class underscore pub underscore variable equal to India. So India is the value of this variable and this is the class variable and this is public variable. We can access this variable inside the class as well as outside the class. So this is the public variable. 
second variable is double underscore state underscore class underscore private underscore where, where equal to chandigarh so you can see here the second variable is a private variable and we can access this variable only inside the class scope of this variable only inside the class so this is the private member of this class and the syntax to define a private member is double underscore so here you can see here this is the double underscore then the name of the variable so this way we can create the private member of a class and next one is the in it method so here are the in it method double underscore in it then double underscore and here i'm passing the self self is the first first variable name here and then the three variable car name car model car brand and self basically used to maintain the references while we are calling this class to create a objects and during the runtime we in concurrent mode we call this class to create multiple objects and basically self is maintaining the object reference and here i'm again in, uh, using the self dot car models like to initialize all the attributes by using the self and next is the functions i'm defining inside this class is get car details and here again i'm passing the self to maintaining the reference and then printing the car details like the car name car model car brand means company name then the country country class this is a public variable we define inside the class then the state class private variable which is we decide we define inside the class this is the private variable we uh, define inside the class and next we can call the class so this is the way how we can call the class you can see here this is the object reference we created for this class this is the class name car then passing three values car name tata harrier then the model name xta plus dara condition 80 and then the company name is tata and see here car instance tata so here basically i am creating an object into the memory by calling the car class this is the class name and this is the parameter uh, required by initializing the class because we pass this parameter in our in it methods that's why we are passing here and let me draw this with the help of drawing so you can see here suppose this is our memory and once we call this class you can see here this is the class and once we call this object is created into the memory and now this object also contain the attribute details because we are also initializing this class with attributes you can see here these attributes also save into the memory and once we call the another methods like this is the methods we can call from the class so this is the class object you can see here car instance data which we define here this is the class object and this is the methods we are calling from the class this way we can call the methods and this is the uh, overall code which i explained in above section so this is the like the name of the class then this is the public variable this is the private variable like the private member of the class this is the init methods and we are using self for initializing all attributes and to keeping the object references this is the car get detail methods to print the car details and let me take let me run this code so you can see here nothing happened while running this code so like the object is created while we call the class so let me create first object here so here i'm creating the car instance tata this is the first object and i'm passing the name is tata harrier then the model name then the company name and this object is created into the memory as i explained earlier also so to print the details of the cars this is the next methods like this is the next method to print the details i'm calling these methods the this is the object reference name car instance tata and then the, this is the methods from the class i'm uh, calling this method and once i call this method you can see here this printing the old details like the car name is tata harrier model is xta plus direct addition 80 manufacturing by tata country india state chandigarh so this way like the classes work how we call the methods from the class how we define the class how we call the class and next is let me create another object by calling the class so here i'm creating another object is the object is name is car instance mahindra and then i'm calling the same class car then passing the attribute car then the model number lx4 str hard top diesel 80 and company name is mahindra and if i call the get car detail method again you can see here it's printing the car name is car model 
manufactured by Mahindra countries, India and the state is Chandigarh. So this way we can create the number of objects as per the requirement. We can call the same class with different attributes every time and we can create the separate objects into the memory. And further, we can access the public variables also, as I defined in uh, here also, like this is the public variable and we can access this variable anywhere outside the class. So you can see here, I'm accessing this public variable. If I run this, you can see here, if I run this, this printing the India and the same value we pass here. So this is accessible outside the class. Now I'm accessing this outside the class directly. And if I try to access the private members outside the class, then you can see here, it's raised the errors because or has no attribute or double underscore state class, class private word. And this, because we create this variable as a private member of the class. So this, uh, this variable is only accessible inside the class. If we try to access this outside the class, then it's raised the error because the scope of this variable is only inside the class. So that's all about the introduction of the class. So here in this video, I'm cover the basic part of the class. Further, I'm preparing the another video to cover the inheritance meta class. So I will share the separate video for that. But regarding the introduction of the class, this is the basic video. If you want to use this course, you want to try some experiment with this course, you can access this code directly from the description of the video. I will add this, uh, this lab link into the video description so please like and subscribe my channel and thank you